So we had a very beautiful view of the entire stretch of the Kotanat area and a beautiful sunset. So that's the advantage of having taking this last lot. That is a 4.45 p.m. This boat service of Sea Kutanat boat service, if you take uh, we can see a beautiful sunset over there. coming by your two wheeler or four wheeler near to the boat jetty you have a pay and park facility so you can park your vehicle and walk towards the boat jetty which is around 200 meters from there so straight away from that you can see the district tourism promotion council of Alapura, which has been set up in all 14 districts of kerala to provide constant aid and information to the visitors so that's an advantage we have so we have any confusion about which all places we have to visit we can approach this tourism council so this is the Alapri Board Jetty. So we are here. So we are planning to get the C Kutanat Board Service. This is the another sightseeing board service or the cruise service offered by the Government of Kerala or the uh, Department of uh, Water Transportation. This uh, this cruise board is named as Vega, and uh, I think this is cost you around 400 or 500 bucks. Uh, and uh, the timing will be from morning 11 a.m. to evening 5. So from 11 a.m. it starts from Alapura Bochetti and uh, in the evening 5, 5 o'clock you will get back to this area covering all this Kutanad as well as Vembanad region. So this is one of that service. So uh, we have to pre-book that there is a mobile number which is uh, provided. Uh, we have to call on that number and uh, we have to pre-book to get into the service so I prefer the other one uh, which is uh, by the local passenger come tourist boat so that it doesn't want any pre-book bookings we can straight away come here and from morning till evening uh, we have around four or five services which is much cheaper as well we'll try this one as well uh, this is having both uh, air conditioned as well as the normal uh, seatings available. So this is Lord Alapi, Lord Jetty. So this is Alapi. Alapi is one of the oldest plant towns in India and is famous for its several backwaters, canals, beaches, paddy fields and lagoons. Alapi is iconic for its houseboat cruises in the backwaters and attracts thousands of visitors each year. So today we are planning to visit the Kotanad area. It is one of the best places to visit in Alapi. This isn't a place, it's a phenomenon. It is a spectacular lagoon surrounded by the beauty of lakes, rivers, canals, misty mountains and eritreal landscapes. The experience of floating along the pristine backwaters on a houseboat is inexplicable. You will have to leave it to night. The place is also known as the rice bowl of in Kerala for its stunning rice plantations. If you are in Alapi for a day, then this place should be your entire itinerary. So today we are looking forward to a sea Kutanad package or the service from this boat jetty, which is starting from the Alapi boat jetty, which will take you through the 
Kutanad area and just stretch of Kutanad area and you will come back within two and a half hours. So as it is a crowded day because of the autumn season, uh, we are struggling to get down to that boat which is uh, parked on this side of this passenger boat. So there are a lot of passenger boat uh, starting from Alapijati to going through the endless stretch of this backwaters here. So this is the sea foot and art boat service uh, which is uh, parking to the boat jetty here. So this is having a double decker so the tourists can sit in the upper decker which will be costing a little more than the lower decker because lower decker is used by mainly the routine passengers who goes to that area who have their homes there. So uh, in the lower decker it cost 23 for one side so if you want to go by the lower decker it cost 46 for up and down. And if you take the upper decker, it costs you 60 rupees for one side, so 120 rupees. You can go there and come back. It will be going to Kainagari, and uh, from there it will come back and uh, it will reach the same portrait here, Alipi portrait here. So it's around two and a half hours here. Uh, so this is starting from morning, uh, I'm not sure, 8 o'clock. Uh, this service will start, and every Three hours you can expect in this course I will be starting from Adobe Bojati. So for the normal passengers we have this way. There's the lower deck and there is an upper deck as well. So as it's an onam, we have a huge crowd here. The upper deck is for the tourist. It's it's very hard to stand over here, right? I cannot even stand properly. But it's good to sit over here and watch the scenes. So that's the Alapi boat jetty. Houseboats are parked on the sideways because I think because of COVID there are not that much tourists available. That's why they are parked and in idle condition. So this is the lower deck we can see here and uh, and their view of the boat. So nice. These houseboats are constructed very beautifully. The look and the ambience of this area is very quite good. boat is moving very very slowly I think uh, because this is a small canal so that's the reason probably uh, when we go into the main lake it will move a little fast nevertheless the speed the maximum speed is like 10 to 15 kilometers per hour so you cannot expect this big to be too fast so that's a beautiful bridge we are just passing through that Uh, the old boats or 
lot of great ships so far. This is donkey yard, probably, maybe, I'm not sure. temple we can see over here and uh, another boat is coming which is a small boat and it's written as uh, rescue search and rescue so some boat has gone break down so that's why the passengers are rescued from that boat to this small boat so this is a small jetty we can see here at the temple on this big stack so we are more or less entering to the big lake so this is uh, the canal part is over so probably now the speed of the boat will get increased and uh, we can see a couple of big houseboats as well so this area is probably the uh, Nehru Trophy boat race finishing point uh, we are going through that area and we can see a houseboat also there which is parked a lot of houseboats are there so this is uh, the Nehru boat uh, Nehru Trophy boat race finishing point area so Nehru Trophy boat race uh, this is a very famous internationally acclaimed boat race which conducted in every year but unfortunately because of the COVID reasons it's been uh, halted or it's not been conducted for the last two years this year also it, it should have been conducted last week but this time also it's not there so we can see a houseboat approaching us so this is the typical uh, Alepi houseboats this is the famous internationally because the tourists when they come here they stay in this house boats and uh, it cost nothing less than uh, 3000 bucks for a single passenger so if you are having it depends upon the number of birds at the facilities so this is an average houseboat we have we can see much bigger houseboats as well so for a one night stay it will be costing nothing uh, less than Seven to uh, ten thousand for a family of uh, three, two couples and. Uh trips and are in fact a reworked version of the Quechua lungs of olden times. 
the original Ketuva lumps were used to carry tons of rice and spices. A standard Ketuva lump can hold up to 30 tons of goods from Kutana to Kochi port. In Malayalam language, Ketu refers to dwelling structures. Vallam means boat. These are boats with a thatched roof covered over wooden hulls. The boat is made of planks of jarwood joined together with coir. This is then coated with a caustic black resin made from boiled cashew kernels. With careful maintenance, a ketuvalam can last for generations. A portion of the ketuvalam was covered with bamboo and coir to serve as a restroom and kitchen for the crew. Meals were cooked on board and supplemented with freshly cooked fish from the backwaters. When modern trucks replaced the system of transport, people came up with a new way that would keep these boats almost all of which were more than 100 years old in the market. By constructing special rooms to accommodate travelers, these boats cruised forward from near extinction to enjoy their present popularity. Today, these are familiar sites on the backwaters and in Alapura alone, there are as many as 500 houseboats. So guys, the ticket price is 60 rupees for one side. So obviously we want to come back. So it will be costing 120 rupees for the upper deck. Uh, if you are sitting in the lower one, it will be costing around 20 rupees. So this is 60 rupees for the ticket for the one side and if we come back it's 120 so it's the cheapest mode of transport uh, and this is the cheapest way to explore the Kutana. If you take a houseboat it will be costing uh, nothing less than 2000 rupees. So this is also having a, a chartered route so they will be taking to the entire uh, specified route. Uh, the same way the houseboat goes, so it's an advantage. Houseboats are the common scene here right now. We have seen a lot of houseboats here. Uh, so another one is coming in the back and uh, we have a splendid view in the back side as well. It's quite awesome. This area is for us is very beautiful but the people who are living here apart from this uh, natural scenery they will be having the difficulties of the floods and other commutation problems because the main mode of commutation is by the water transport if they want to if there is an emergency to get into the bus or get into the hospital it will be very difficult for these guys so apart from living close to this nature they have their own problems in their day-to-day -day life Passengers are getting down this uh, board jetty is known as Punjiri Jetty, Palla Turukta Kuppa Koram Pio. So, like a bus stops on every bus stop, this boat stops on every boat stop or boat jetty. So, this is the main mode of commutation of the people living in this area.
rings a bell and uh, the person sitting in the back controls the gear or slow down the engine. into tourism we can see a lot of houseboats over here so this is a good sign that people are coming out and chilling a lot of lot of houseboats coming in this side so we are also in the same route where these houseboats are also going and uh, that's another jetty we can see over here very beautiful to see all this it's a floating resort we can say because uh, this is exactly like the rooms and the facilities we get in this uh, houseboat is similar to a resort so this is another boat the boat is harbor Getting the items or the things for the shop is also will be a difficult thing to go to the town they have to use the boat. So this is a totally different lifestyle which which we are seeing here. And that's exactly uh, this is called as the Venice of the East because of these backwaters which connect every each and every uh, hamlet over this area. So that's why this is called uh, the backwaters so see how close this home uh, is to this river so if there is a flooding happens then that home obviously it will be in trouble so the people are getting out of So people are getting down the boat after the shopping from the Alapura town for the honor. So see from there they are going to their home on that way and uh, there are a couple of guys sitting over here spending their time pass. So that old person they are also walking through that narrow edge. For us it will be very seems very dangerous little misstep can get you down into the river but they are used to it
see in front of every home over here there is a boat also because the main like in our home there will be car or bikes for the accommodation so the people living over here the main mode of accommodation is by the boat so see every home every home is having a boat with them see the people are uh, going they are boarding the families in the boat and they are going to the town that the boat jetty so all these services are uh, from the kerala state water transport department the system consists of 1895 kilometers of waterways including navigable navigable rivers backwaters and man made cross canals most of these are in travancore cochin area that's the uh, region we are in right now this the same lake is called in different names in different Uh, districts in Alappuzha it is known as Punnamada Kail, or if you go to the Kottayam or the Cherthala region, it is known as the uh, Vembanad Lake. So in Kollam, it is the uh, Ashtamudi Kail. There are total 44 rivers in Kerala, and uh, 41 of the westward flowing rivers combine with backwaters and man-made canals to form an integral part of the inland navigation system. Even though it is a commercial department. it's functioning like a service department ever since transportation came under essential service in kerala and it's essentially it's an essential service see another families going with their own boat so that's the beauty of the life of in this and in this area because for us it's very beautiful to see this thing and uh, people who are living here it's quite normal it's their daily routine they are living so close to the nature and uh, it's amazing ha huh, but when it is a uh, monsoon season the threat of flooding is always there and that's the region save kutnad campaign was also there in the last uh, monsoon season as well and uh, we also realized uh, in the last uh, two floods in the kerala the big floods which we all encountered this is like a day to day problem of the people living over this area so there are a couple of passengers in the upper deck but in the lower deck there are a lot of passengers because that's quite cheap and uh, that's a uh, normal the people living over here their daily accommodation so this people are like me who are the tourists who come to see this area once in a while so these are very low lying areas and uh, by seeing itself we can assume that if the water level goes up this area will be drowned so that's a condition see that's a toddy shop the national drink of Kerala you can say so just after this residing area just back side of that it's a paddy paddy field the homes are also beautifully constructed see the style and uh, mercedes benz is parked outside their home so that's the BMW or the Mercedes Benz to say i'm literally spellbound because you cannot switch off the camera or your your mobile phone because everywhere is scenic beauty if you like photography then this is the best place for you to be here because everywhere you see it's full of natural beauty this is something life which is very close to the nature and uh, the lifestyle is 
absolutely totally different. The way of commutation or the transportation of these people is something which we will think that how this is happening, how these people will come out of their home and reach to the town. <laughs> because through water transport, it's, it's not that which is we used to, right? So this area is having that kind of nature, nature is blessed with its abundance. You can say it is having an ultimate vibe which everyone, everyone which aspires to. Because the people who are in the city, who people are over the town, they will aspire to have a very peace and calm atmosphere like this. So this is something uh, one aspect to, to live close to the nature. I think we reached the Kainagari uh, boat jetty. This is the last point. Uh, from this area, the boat will be parked here for at least five minutes. I think after that, it will be going back to the Arapi boat jetty. So this is that area. So boat is just harbored into this location. And uh, from here it will be going back or I think the main advantage of uh, this service is that it will not take through the same route which we traveled they will be taking through a different route so we there will be no repetition of uh, the scene which we had uh, so let me get down all for five minutes we can have a tea and come back halting here and uh, you can take a tea break for the 10 minutes cheese snacks are available here and uh, that's the boat we have we just came here so people are commuting the family is also going to this way I think this is a parking area for the two wheelers and the four wheelers also can park in a garage. So the people who want to catch the boat can park their vehicles here and uh, they can get the, into the boat. So that's our boat. So the, now the board is full empty, the passengers all have got down over here and uh, from now from here to Alapi Jetty there are less because this might be the last trip after this there might be no, no single boat service to this area. Beautiful sunset we can see over here. The advantage of uh, taking uh, this time slot, that is 4.30, is that we get to see a beautiful sunset. So I'm just flipping the camera. That's the sun. But the only disadvantage here is that uh, it will get darkened easily. So the visibility will get reduced.
we had a very beautiful view of the entire stretch of the Kutanat area and a beautiful sunset. So that's the advantage of having taking this last load. That is a 4.45 p.m. This boat service of Sea Kutanat boat service, if you take, uh, we can see a beautiful sunset over there. So, but one disadvantage is that while returning every boat service of this uh, uh, category, Sea Kutanat, takes a different route. So the people won't be seeing the same route which they came to the Kainagari region. But the last service will be going through the same route uh, which will take another one hour. If you go through that uh, bridge which we have seen there just over there, it will be taking around 45 minutes and it will be a totally different view. So that's only the disadvantage but uh, coming to the sunset, that's a beautiful view we had right now. So that's a plus point. So that's a beautiful uh, lifestyle we have seen totally different uh, lifestyle we have seen and a lot of views that's baffling views so uh, let's end this video here i hope you guys have enjoyed this video and uh, that's uh and their beautiful stretch of the kutanad we had seen in this vlog so we'll come out with another location soon and uh, till then take care bye bye so they have filled a diesel for 126 liter, 11,821 rupees. So that much they are filling fit for the next day, I think. So 126 liter per day. I don't know the revenue which we get generated from this boat service will compensate or whether this will be in the profit mode or not. Because if you're spending 12,000 for the diesel and for the employees also there are one driver one engine operator and uh, two people to get this boat service uh, so there are four employees as well so it will be difficult i don't know how how this thing is running profitably here uh, there will be around four to five services in a day so maybe because this is a covid reason covid season uh, that's the main thing, we are not getting enough passengers to commute in this uh, boat.